Hello, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. How you doing, Tim? This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a channel where I do a lot of ranting and a lot of reviews. <laughs> fam, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for watching, Tim. I want to say thank you for being a part of this channel. Uh, thank you for showing all the love and the support. And thank you for being so positive. That means a lot to me, fam. And I just want to be honest. It really does. Um... One of the biggest things that we're going to talk about, a commenter in the comment section, in the comment, uh, in the comments, I'm sorry, I'm getting tired of A commenter in the comment section actually made a great point. They said, Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, Masters of the Universe, Origins. Then we forget that they have Masters of the Universe, uh, what is that called? Ultimates from Super 7? Still out there being sold. Then you got He-Man and a Masters of the Universe cartoon. So it's that cartoon. It's Revelations. And you got Origins. You got a lot of damn He-Man. It's oversaturated. It's too much out there. People don't know what to collect. And the person actually said too much of a good thing becomes a bad thing. And you know what? I don't know what the hell to collect with Masters of the Universe. You know, my whole thing is you need to trim it all down to one line. And that's what it looked like they were trying to do with the Masterverse by bringing He-Man and the Masters of the Universe into the Masterverse. You got too many damn lines going. And people are so confused. They don't know where to go. You're bringing out too many damn cartoons. And people are getting to the point where they're getting fed up because it's too much. You overpowering their senses and they don't know what to do. Now, Masters of the Universe is always on sale most of the time at Target. And you know how that works. You know, um, the manufacturer actually pays for the item to go on sale. So the company is still getting that money in the process. But what I want to say to you is, when you go to Target, you may see a stock looking area, but it's still all the same damn stuff. Okay, if you got Masters of the Universe Origins, where's She-Ra? Where's Hordak? Where's Keldar? Where's all these damn people that, you know, you've been hearing an arm and a leg about, you know, the, the Blue Stratos, you know, the um, Zodak. Masters of the Universe, um, Revelations, where's Hordak? Where's She-Ra? Oh, coming soon. Catra. Beastman. And you know, all these other people. What I'm looking for, honestly, is for you to put new product out. Now, having the same old dead stock is just having stock. I, I don't need that. See, a lot of people is getting turned off from Masters of the Universe because it's too damn much. It's too much going on. So, and the person actually made such a great point. You got too much of the same shit I already got. Already got the origin figures. Why would you keep bringing out some of the same figures we got tons of? If I already got Beastman for origins, Stratos, Zodak, bring out figures that we don't have, like the She-Ra, you know, like that new Hordak, that, that'll work, you know, my whole thing is, I'm getting a lot of figures that I don't want, that, you know, we got triplicate of with Masters of the Universe, the original one from what, the 80s, see, this is the problem, Masterverse work, but you got too many lines competing against it, you got three lines of He-Man competing against your own brand. Do you know that ain't a no-brainer? That ain't even a good brainer. I understand He-Man and the Masters of the Universe is for the younger generation. Masterverse is for the older generation. And Origins is too for the younger generation because of the price for it. Now, you're looking at Origins and you're looking at Masters of the Universe Revelations. You look at Sun Man for Origins. And you look at Sun Man for Masters of the Universe 
revelations and you tell me, do you see the difference? What the hell is really going on? <laughs> I think they joking with us, man. They doing too damn much. Produce one line. Turn all three lines into one line. That way you could just produce figures. Produce some of the figures that um, the Maddie Club did, the Ultimates, where they brung out figures that you see only on a cartoon, like Goldar or something, you know, where he's all gold and he has gold orbs, you know. Bring out all the damn role players, you know, the bit players, you know, bring all of them out. You got all the main characters. We got them from the 80s. We got them when the origins hit. Then we bringing them back with Masterverse. You're doing way too damn much. I'm not trying to spend that type of money on a line of figures that I already got. Now, see, when we hit Masterverse, I started buying those because, again, these are a different size. The articulation is way different than all the others. And there's one figure that I'm waiting on for the Masterverse. And that's the 40th anniversary He-Man. I'm waiting on that one. It's like all of a sudden we doing everything else. But we fell in to bring out the damn thing that people are asking for. Do you understand what I mean, fam? It's like they say, Unc, it's like you talking a whole nother language, Unc. I'm not understanding, Unc. What are you talking about? Masters of the Universe is one of those lines that always pop on sale. You can pick up figures when you need them. But you know what? It's oversaturated. We don't need oversaturation. We need the actual product that we don't have. I haven't seen Wave such and such from Masters of the Universe Origins. What do they even sell Masters of the Universe Origins at? You know, they both to sell them at Target, but all you see is He-Man and Skeletor in, the, in that uh, flesh tone Stratos that nobody wants. That's when Lemon, you know, <laughs> Lululemon yoga pants. Man, what's up with that? He doing way too much and they doing way too much. Mattel has dropped the damn ball. They did. It's too many lines. Now, you know, Masterverse is actually coming up with um, the Adventures of He-Man. You remember that one that he had the laser and he had that funny... Um, sword, you know, back when he both the went into the future, he man, they got that one coming out. I, you know, I want to see some of these figures that come out for this, and that's my whole thing. You know, this is what people are looking for, they're looking for a plethora of product that they don't have, not the same stuff that you got. Now, you know what? I don't want to see 40 Skeletors, I could get Skeletor and the regular He Man. On eBay for twelve damn dollars, free shipping for both of them. That's what I'm talking about. All accessories. They may not be in the damn box, but twelve dollars. Look, I'm coming out. I'm winning on that one, fam. You know, we ain't thinking. We ain't thinking about the bigger picture, fam. And that's the bigger picture. Everybody's getting tired. You know what? Listen to people when they talk to you. When they talk to you, when your customers, your consumers, the people who know your product inside and out that love to buy your product, they get tired of buying the same shit. Excuse the language, I apologize. But this makes me mad, fam. It really does. And I just want to say this actually is like <laughs> them killing their own merchandise. They're killing their own line. It's too much out there. I mean, it's so much a He-Man on the damn shelf that you like. Okay, this is Battle Cat. Uh, that's Battle Cat. We got an Origins Battle Cat. We got a He-Man Masters of the Universe Battle Cat. And we got a Masterverse Revelations Battle Cat. Why do we got so many damn Battle Cats? We got three damn battle cats, and why? But nobody have gave us a really good Castle Grayskull.
Now, I know we all go by nostalgia when we say, yeah, you know, I remember the Castle Grayskull from when I was little, and it had this part, and it had that part. Castle Grayskull was crap, and I'm going to be honest, it really was. Out of every damn castle everybody had when we were little, Castle Grayskull was the worst. Voltron Castle was way better. Hell, the damn Starios main base was better than damn Castle Grayskull. Snake Mountain was leaps and bounds over Castle Grayskull. I'm like the damn Eternia playset. I'm like, wait, hold on. Why was Castle Grayskull crap? It's like they didn't care. And see, that's the thing that we miss it. I don't know if it's the people that didn't care or is it that we don't care. We need to start holding these companies accountable. You can't keep releasing the same crap over and over again and just putting it in different colors and say, I guess they're bad. No, they won't. A lot of that He-Man stuff is sitting on that damn shelf real hard. That Triclops is sitting there. When that trap jaw finally hit, damn near months later, I had him like six months before anybody else had him. When he finally hit, people bought him, but after a while, they like, wait, hold on. It's the same with all of them. After a while, you just like, eh. It's too oversaturated. It's too many lines. They need to make it all into one line and just leave it just like that. That way you won't kill your brand. But to later fam, thank you for watching. Peace out.